So if a car is going 70 miles per hour, how long would it take the car to get one mile? Uh, 70, n***a. Yes. <laughs> so he comes outside, he puts his set up, and I'm like, oh, yeah? And then I pull the pistol up, oh, but it's a shit. <laughs> What's the craziest feature, I don't know if you could say, that you ever had that couldn't get put out? Uh... Whoa. Jay, can I be honest with you? Yeah. I feel like your last couple fights been a little too easy for you, brother. The truth is, I like easy. I mean, I mean, who doesn't like easy? Easy knockouts, easily coming for that top spot in boxing, and best of all, offering the easiest daily fantasy app you can play. Better picks. Only three very simple steps to huge paydays. Step one, pick two or more players. Step two, pick more or less on their projections. Step three, win the biggest payouts in the industry. It's that easy, and I love easy. So I'm going to go download better and play, play better, better picks. picks. Download better, play better picks all NBA season long. It's that simple, motherfuckers. Download it today. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. <laughs> So we thought it could be funny to have Yuta, um, my girlfriend here, like as a part of the interview because um, she doesn't know anything about America. I don't speak English. She and she barely speaks English. So that's Lit. super Lit. funny. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm here. So you're gonna ask the the questions like for the general, some questions for the general audience. <laughs> okay. So you're a rapper, I heard. That's, that's, that's yeah. amazing. I don't know Singer, anyone. R and B. I don't play much. You rapper, rapper. Okay, good. good. Rapper. Yeah. A superstar rapper. As, yeah, as you look Donald like a Trump rapper. Said, little pimp. <laughs> it's a superstar. Little hey, when, pimp. when he called you little pimp, what the fuck were you like? And speaking of sound music and other things, one of the big superstars of the world, little pimp. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> no, man, it just fit in perfect, bro, because it was like I was, I was doing an um, OnlyFans show with the girls. And then, like, out of nowhere, I did a video at my house sitting in the kitchen. And then I did a stupid-ass video and posted it on my story, like, oh, let's go with Trump. But this was when everybody was hating him. So, like, once I did it and I woke up the next morning, it was all over the news. And that same day, Trump called me like, yo, I'm about to get you a jet. Come over here. To and the he rebel. just had you pull up? Yes, bro. That's crazy. He, the Donald Trump sent the jet. Yeah, but, th but this guy's jet, well, he comes in, is different. Did you go on Air Force One? No, 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 no. <laughs> Air Force One. But he just got me, like, on a G6. And then, um, bro, when he was pulling off the rally, this man pulled off in the, um, what's it called? The bulletproof cars? No, no, no. The 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 um, the um jets we were talking about. That, um, oh, oh, Air Force One. Air, yeah. I see that guy's walking in there. I'm like, oh, he's a beast. Yo, that's that's my goal one day is to make it onto Air Force One. You're getting yeah. there. You oh, think no, I could... bro. You, you're already there, bro. I, I, hey Trump, bro, I'm trying to be on Air Force One. Just let Trump, me know. Put us on, on there. Man. Yeah, we need to have a party on Air Force One. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question? Very, yes, very important question. Well, that's probably yes, why he came on the podcast to um, be asked shut questions. The fuck, up. fuck you, bitch. Um. So if a car is going seventy miles per hour, yes, seventy miles per hour, how long would it take the car to get one mile? Uh, seventy. Yes! <laughs> Fuck yes! Bro, bro that hey, is the, I, didn't change. That is the greatest clip of fucking all time, bro. You're going 70 miles per hour. How long would it take you to drive 70 miles? 70? Thank you, thank you. And no, and I was dead serious, too. That's the crazy part. Like, I was being serious. Do you still, do you still believe that? <laughs> yeah. That's great, man. <laughs> So so, how's life? Are you like, are you sober? Are you yes, sir. Really, no actually sober. sober. Working out, yeah. Dead sober. No more drink. No more none of that no bullshit. No way. What stopped the train, bro? I was getting bloated, bro. I look pregnant. Like fuck that shit, bro. I'm tired of that shit. Yeah, it's weird being in like the that culture where it's like so a part of rap. Yeah. And like having fun, partying, touring, exactly. all that crazy shit, and it's like. Left if you're not doing it, you're the weird one. So then you get like sucked into it. Yeah, bro. It's just everything's around you. Everything's accessible. So and do bad. you feel do you feel do you feel like better, like in a better place in life and all mm -hmm. that? Mentally, yeah. That's Mentally. Good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I, I 
I have had a similar experience. Like it just being in LA. LA. It's that's I was gonna problem, say that, bro. bro. That shit was bro. I was getting depressed in LA. Like I was like, bro, I can't, I can't be here no more. I was like just sitting down playing video games. I'm like, it's just depressing, bro. I'm like, I'm gonna go back to Miami. I don't think there's a single person who's like gone out there that basically is like yeah i feel so much better now nobody leaves with a good experience bro they're all yeah. fucking crashed out tweaking crashed out yeah you but were fucking... i just think there's a dark energy there that like, it's smart yeah just had to dip out had to get away i was trying to and i was telling jasper for like two so years it took me a little while I was doing molly four days a week but we're here now hey, everything's man. okay that shit happens how you were young as fuck though bro like yeah. 15 16 on the yeah, on the bro, no was... jumper tour bro like yeah. How are you fucking navigating? Like, shit's get- crazy. It, I like still can't believe it. I was like fucking 16 doing all this. Who are the names above your eyebrow? Oh, uh, these? Yeah. This one, what does this one say? Ida or Fabia? Yeah. Yeah. Ida's my mom's name and this is my dad's name who passed. Aww. Yeah. That's cute. I'm thinking about getting a face tat on the week of my fight. Well, I don't think that's a great idea. Don't tell me you're getting the Tyson one. <laughs> I, I'm not going to get the Tyson one. But Tyson, like, got his legendary tattoo. He just... So you need yours, bro, because right now you like the face of boxing. That's what... I, I'm just like, fuck it. Like, why not just do it? Because Tyson did it. The story behind Tyson's face tat is it was, like, Wednesday of his fight week, and he just got it. And fight then the week? Yeah, and he showed up to the presser the next day with the face tat, and he didn't tell anybody. So I'm thinking about doing that in honor that's fire. Fire. Well, you don't have to, babe. No. What would you think, babe? No. <laughs> or no, you're getting in your like sophisticated you era. Like right here. Yeah, see, it's already there. Yeah. That's it's like already, already on your face. I want to get. That's what I'm saying. No, babe, you don't need it. But I could just always like put makeup over it. What? But this this is why, this is why I don't even know if I should have brought it up because I'm just gonna make this decision for me. God damn. If man. I'm gonna do it, but I. What I if just I don't like it? I just thought of that. What? What if I don't like it? Do you remember remember when I had the Tyson one, like the makeup one? Yeah, it looked you good for it. like a day, but that was <laughs> that was good. For that. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch with Brandon again. Why, I can't you, talk. You got scared? No, I can't talk. Like, this is not this is not for me. You did you, you did great, babe. <laughs> you I did it. You did great. Love I think pump. you should start your own podcast. Hey, Brandon's norm- normally the host. Up, man? How, you doing? how do you feel about the um, Mike Tyson fight? I know, man. I know you got this. That's what I'm saying. I, like, I don't I believe think, in you, man. I don't. I don't get why people like. There's. It's very fifty fifty. But to the people that don't think I'm gonna win, it's like I'm younger, faster, sharper, and and hit, can hit at, at the same levels that that he can, and t- be able to take his punches. So I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm a little scared because it is Mike Tyson. And I feel like when I look across the ring, I'm just going to be like, have a wow moment that I'm actually about to fight Mike Tyson. Bro, but just think about your transition, like, how you did all this and now you're fighting Mike Tyson. Like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It just, it's just hard work, but mostly self belief. Like, I sit there and manifest so many things and say my goals all the time and, and actually do the work to put into it behind it are, are you big on manifestation yes sir what are some things that like you want to know something crazy yeah so when i was like 12 years old i like wrote down on a on a on one of those wimpy kid books you know how it's like empty pages yep. i was like i want to be a rapper i want to have a lambo i want to have a mansion that's, you still have that paper i still have that book that's, like, wow, like that's fuck crazy and i look back at that book and i'm like damn bro like this shit's serious. Yeah, you accomplished your childhood dream. Shout yeah. out to Diary of a Wimpy Kid, by the way. I remember reading that. That was the goosebumps. I wanted the, diary the loaded the diaper, bro. I still, I, I need to get the loaded diaper to truck. Imagine, bro, we had like book fairs as kids. Yeah, That's where bro. we probably got the book. And now it's like, what do they have? IPads. iPad fairs? Like, like, did your school have like a book fair? Yeah. Is that where you got the book from? No, no, no. I bought it on like Barnes and Noble or okay. some bullshit. How long were you in school? Because I mean, you got famous at like 15 years old, right? Yeah, I probably dropped out like in ninth, 10th grade. Same. Wow. I got kicked out of every school just for fighting. That was before fame? Yeah. Wow. So you, you were a fighter? Yeah. So did getting kicked out like lead to? Lead to that, yeah. Because basically, long like long story short, um, I've never told this before to anybody. So. Whatever. Yes, exclusive. Um, 
I came home one day. I'm blowing it down. I'm living with my mom, my stepdad. And then my stepdad comes over. He's like, you can't fucking smoke in this house. I'm like, what are you going to do about it, bitch? And then after that, he's like, let's fight. I'm like, oh, you want to fight? And and I bought a gun at like 14, just, just waiting for this moment. So he comes outside. He puts his set up. And I'm like, oh, yeah? And then I pull the pistol up, oh, but it's his forehead. He's nah. like, no, I'm calling the police. And after that, I just moved out and moved with my dad. So did you did you like throw the gun and run or or because did he did he call the cops? He called the cops, but thank God my brother was two minutes out, so he picked me up and he took me to my dad's, and then I had to grab on my clothes, just dip over there, and then that's when like my journey started with the music, cause like, so he was the he was the smoke perp was the one who like you once you guys linked together was he producing and then or was it both both of you guys like just coming up with ideas both. But um, he was definitely the one who like put like pushed me to make music. Are you guys still close? Yeah. When did y'all meet? You were like thirteen, right? When you became friends? Thirteen, fourteen. Damn, and that's yeah. crazy. Y'all, y'all kept that friendship the whole way through all this crazy yeah. ups and downs. Cause and- like, there's a lot of people that you come up with, and then they're all just on some bullshit, you know? Like, what? So like, I be, like I would be saving all of y'all's songs back in the day. And then I know, like, there was, like, ups and downs and going back and forth. But, bro, like, I feel like it'd be sick if you guys did, like, a joint album together. Yeah. And made, like, a comeback. Because that would, like, bring so much nostalgia. And, like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people would fuck with it. No, yeah, nah, I got hella shit be crazy. Up, man. I could play you guys some shit. But yeah, you got, yeah. like, new shit, you're saying? No, unreleased. Yeah, yeah, that, oh, yeah, that. Well, are, are you... I mean, I just think it'd be cool if you guys like branded it as like, co- like another joint album coming back, like going yeah. going hard again and bringing back some of that SoundCloud era. Oh yeah, the SoundCloud, SoundCloud era, turn era, because like now rap is at the shittiest that has been, bro. Bro, it's the worst ever. Yeah, it's like, at the shittiest. Like, I get very uninspired. It's dying, no. It's not dying. It's just like it's these little young nobody selling like selling these numbers. Yeah. Well, it's so you were just talking about unreleased music, right? Yeah. And it's I know how it is in the industry where you'll get crazy features, and then sometimes you have to go through a label and shit doesn't get put out. What's the craziest feature? I don't know if you could say that you ever had that couldn't get put out. Say it. Yeah. Uh, Bieber. Whoa! Oh, no yeah, little pump X Bieber. That would have went crazy. That's and hard. Whoa! All on the same song. Yeah. Nah, that's Whoa. hard. How did that come about? Was it in person you and Bieber met? And um, I was in L.A. I, like, ran out of the little crib, and then um, I was shroomed out of my mind, bro. And then, like, <laughs> Bieber calls me, like, on, on, on Instagram Live, and then we just both got on Instagram Live, started talking shit, and then he's like, yo, I got this song for you after the live. And he sent it to me, and I'm like, let me knock it down. Damn. And it was good, too? <sighs> Insane, bro. What stopped it from being put out? Label shit? I mean, yeah, just like label stuff. Damn. But shout out to Bieber. Shout out to Bieber. I need to hear that shit. So you, you were also just talking about being on shrooms, and before you said you were sober, but that was a huge part of that whole era, that, which, which is a nostalgic area for everyone. Like that two, 2016. I was shroomed out doing I love it. So, so what, <laughs> you, 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 a lot of your music is in relation to drugs, right? A lot what? of your, your old music was kind of revolved around drugs. That was, that was a big part of your lifestyle. How, how did that start? And I mean, you were 15 talking about doing mollies and you, you have one of the big, biggest songs is, is drug addicts, right? So whole gang full of drug addicts. That's the hook on the song. Was that being a kid, you were a kid addicted to drugs. What I, mean, I know that comes up and down. You're on, you're on tour. I mean, yeah. a lot of drugs, like, I mean, everybody goes through stuff, you know, mm-hmm. everybody goes through ups and, ups and downs. Mm-hmm. No, for sure. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess I guess it's like, did you did you learn something from it or or of like? Of course, of course, health is wealth, man. Yeah. You got to take care of your body. Yeah, because I can only imagine that's hard to be in that world as like a fifteen year old running around with millions of dollars. What was your stupidest purchase you made when you signed? Oh man, there's a lot. Mm. <laughs> Where do like we the start? Dumbest one possible. The dumbest one possible. Let's see. Um. Oh, fuck. My dumbest one possible. What's yours, Jake? I would probably say buying 
like a giant merch truck. <laughs> like I built, I got this like giant army truck and like converted it with West Coast Customs for like a hundred fifty thousand dollars, and like we didn't even use it one <laughs> that time. That bitch was sitting there oh resting for years. We didn't on use end. it a single time, but it was like the coolest thing. That that was that was probably really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I bought like a razor and then off roaded it, and the doors was falling off. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a story behind it, but I think he might have you beat because in the I'm not sure what video it is, but you're you get a video on on the Rafe, right? Yeah, so breaking like the, the windshield. There's a long story to it. So basically, um, so I did the video and I told him what I wanted to be. I said I want bitches, I want fake snow, <laughs> I want a wolf, <laughs> and dream. I want a Rafe. And then I just I just stepped on the rafe, and then um, out of nowhere, I like cracked the windshield, and then people came like, "Yo, you just cracked the windshield, like that's just gonna be thirty bands." I'm like, "Oh yeah, all right, bet. Let me just finish breaking this shit." Like, what, yeah, what the fuck? Bro. Smart. Oh, yeah, fucking I way. grabbed the, the um little golf thing and started smashing it. Bomb! I stomped it out, and then like probably like two days later, like, "Yeah, you broke the window, and you're gonna have to buy the car." <laughs> And you bought that you, motherfucker? Yeah, bro. You still I, have I had it? To, nah, man. I <laughs> but, said, why the fuck do we have two race for? A similar thing happened uh, while we were shooting a music video, and the production, we had a Rolls Royce, like, Cullen, and, like, I think it was, like, a specific edition, and the production team left the camera rig on the front, the straps. They left the straps, like, hanging in the air. So we started driving, and they took the camera off, just before that, we started driving, and the strap got sucked into the front tire because they didn't think, and it ripped the suction cup metal rig off the front of the what thing. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, the suction cups were on the front of the hood, Yeah. and there's, like, this metal big rig thing that was holding the camera. So the strap wrapped around the tire, ripped the suction cups off, the metal hits the whole front of the hood, and it was oh like forty thousand dollars in damage. Oh my god! Fucked. And yeah, I've got some shit with that. <laughs> it happens, but it was the production. It was the production's fault. Yeah, blame it on them, man. Fuck that. <laughs> no, literally, because it was dry. It was fine when the camera was on it. Then all of a sudden, they take the camera off, leave the straps hanging, and then stupid ass. Got sucked into the roof. Something similar between you two is kind of like your antics, right? Like a lot of your come up was rolled around antics. I feel like a lot of yours was as well. And with Jake, half of it is that he was playing a character, but the other half is that he really was this rambunctious little kid that just liked doing bullshit that he shouldn't be yeah. doing. How much of what you were doing on your come up, doing all these antics to, to get publicity was really you or how much of it was intentional marketing? I, I was just having fun in my life, man. I was just like, let's do this. All right, we're going to do it. Boom. Hey. What up, homie? Hey. What up, homie? Hey, we were just courtside. Yeah, we actually play for the Lakers now. And uh, we actually did get our tickets on game time. That's when Marco's got them? Yes, indeed, bro. Game time has the best deals. And we were able to actually see a picture of what the seats were while purchasing. So we love game time. They always do a price match guarantee. And if you, for some reason, get fired from your job while attending an event, they will refund your tickets. Oh, I'm about to buy something so I got fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, well, the, um, you are fired. So it is It is real. We are firing. Game time. We are firing Jasper. Yes, and uh, he is going to work at game time now. Oh, yeah. They have, game time has the lowest price guarantee event cancellation protection and the job loss protection like i mentioned earlier so it shows you you're all in prices total up front and it really is just the best place to buy no hidden tickets. Fees. we always no hidden fees baby no hidden fees we always use game time to get courtside uh events concerts they have it all they even got comedy shows yes indeed we going good good throwing that in there because we love comedy and if you use the code Jake on the Game Time site, that's J A K E. For those of you who can't spell, you will get twenty dollars off of your first purchase. Go now. J J A K E for twenty dollars off your first purchase. <laughs> Terms apply. 
Brace is so good it make me want to say Zoo Wee Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Wee Mama. Zoo Wee Mama. I'm going to game time today. Oh, Brace is so good it make me want to say Zoo Wee Mama. mama. <laughs> yeah, that that it was pretty similar, I guess. Like it was like having fun and just like coming up with an idea, an idea yeah. and then just being like, "Fuck it." But I, like when it starts working against you, though, like when you were having this fun and people didn't see it that way, like these old fucks seeing you do. Young shit and getting frustrated, like, oh yeah. How do you keep doing it? Like you never end it. Cause bro, why the fuck we gonna fuck about like old fucks like Joe Budden and people like that? Like, <laughs> yeah, they just go fuck themselves, bro. Like, literally. Well, it's a whole new, it's a whole new culture, right? Like, I guess like someone like Joe Budden and you obviously had your conversation with J Cole, which yeah. went mega viral. It's like it's it's. You, you guys are polar opposites on the spectrum of hip hop, right? Yeah. Like you, you have a whole different take on how you approach hip hop. So is there now kind of like a mutual respect between you and the Joe Buttons and J. Cole's? Yeah, because before I did the interview with J. Cole, we're at Rolling Loud, and then um, J. Cole um, told me that he wanted to talk to me backstage. I'm like, all right, but I just went back there, chopped it up for like 30 minutes, and he looked at me. He's like, bro, you're actually smart. You play dumb, but you're smart. I'm like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. Like, just play dumb and just... I see a lot of comments, like, people comment on on that a lot with me. It's like, fucking idiot, fucking dumbass. Because you're exactly. just like a boxer brute, but, like, there's so much so much masterminding that goes in behind all of this shit that those people will never even comprehend or understand. Exactly. But it's kind of cool to, like... It's almost better to know exactly what's going on and play dumb and get away with it versus like everybody's seeing your hand like yeah just know jake after the podcast i want you to punch me as hard as you can in the stomach oh shit. i don't Are you um, sure? <laughs> yeah i'll take it now, i don't know if i'll take it but shit just take me to the hospital <laughs> would, would you ever get in the ring and box yeah What's hey, but you can't bring the pistol I'll, like you did with your yeah, stepdad. Nah, nah. <laughs> Wait, where? Just straight gloves. You just gotta... Of course, of course. Who, who, who's one artist that you will box? Like <laughs> your biggest op. Mm. I don't really have no ops. What do you think, Jake? Man, would be a good fit for me. I think like I I've, I've always wanted to see six nine get in there and get his ass beat. What about like like Soldier Boy? Bro. He be trying to fight everybody and just yeah, that's soldier. Fun. Soldier don't want that shit, man. You think you got him? You could fight Blueface. Nah, nah, Blue, Blueface Blue, my dog. Blueface my man. He a little experienced too, bro. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. No, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, cold, yeah Blueface squabble. could fight. Soldier boy though, bro. That dropped the Addy. Blueface pulled up on live and he was not there. And it's the same shit that happened to you and him. Yeah, he didn't want to fight back in the day. Anybody can get it. Damn. <laughs> you know, we might have to set some shit up. Get pump on MVP. If I got this guy training me, bro, it's up. Yeah, you you would you would win for sure. Anybody that we would train is just automatic dub. You think you could last a round with Mike Tyson? Oh no, no, no. That's why I I was gonna bring that up. This man got balls, bro. You got balls, like step in a ring with Mike Tyson, boy. Oh man. It is it is definitely a lot to, to you face got this, and go bro. up against, but I think I'm just like wired differently to like i i just feel like it's like destiny for, to, for me to be involved in the sport like just whatever mindset that i have is just made for the sport bro i got this shit that's a lot Come of on, minutes. Bro. it's gonna be a movie though i'm gonna put a honey bun on, on fucking jake that's right i ain't gonna lie damn is that a hundred racks honey racks yeah, that's honey bun i need we need to start saying that do you do you bet on like a lot of sports sometimes so so you're in there uh, yeah i like going to the casino yeah i like that going shit, to the bro. casino yeah. <laughs> i don't even want to hear those words no more <laughs> are you down bad over there no 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 no. i got my get back but it's just it's been a tough it's been a real fight but i'm there so so what's life looking like for you right now because obviously like we were just talking about the 2016 area when like you were always online we were always seeing you i feel like we haven't seen you as much in recent times are you still living that same type of lifestyle where you're still running around going crazy touring or have you kind of gotten more reserved in your yes because i could have dropped gucci gang and ever dropped nothing else and i'm good for life mm -hmm. i have a whole bunch of platinum songs like i could tour for the rest of my life overseas here and just never make music again but i do it because i have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. so so is that is a lot of touring going on still 
Yeah, I'm about to go to Australia, Brazil. I'm about to go to a whole bunch of places. No, you're making new music or... Yeah, Spanish music, bro. This is about to go crazy. That's wild. I see it's a, the Latin shit is crazy right now, bro. It's like the biggest market. I've never seen anything like it, bro. When when I walked out with Archangel, the crowd like Oh, Ar- uh, um, Ar- Archangel. 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 I'm I'm a fucking such a white boy when I <laughs> I got to teach you Spanish, Archangel. man. Archangel. Do you Archangel. speak Spanish? Pues claro. Okay. Whatever that means. Is that yeah. your first language? <laughs> Oh well, no! Way. First, first, second. But but I've never seen a crowd react like that to someone. Like they saw me and they were like, "Yeah," and then they saw him and they were like, "Oh my fucking!" Like they lose their shit. Damn, that market's crazy. going nuts I'm right now. I'm about to turn into a Spanish. Bro, the Spanish, Spanish market is. I'll jump on a insane. song in Spanish with you. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it, man. I'll start. I'll start going crazy. We're gonna call it uh, "Quiero coger con tus nalgotas." Hola bonita. El gallo. El gallo. El gallo. El gallo. Everybody know that's crazy. El gallo. That's what I'm saying. Right in my bro. wildfire. You gotta come with the pants like the fucking gallo pants. Yeah, the rooster pants. Have and you ever heard J- Jake's go. music? Yeah. What, what do you think? It's fire. He, he um he was working with um C B. Yeah. Huh? C B's yeah. here. Yeah, we were we were working we were working to with the same producers like for a little bit too. Mm-hmm. I definitely had a music era. I love I love making music you too. You did tweak. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The pandemic that, that was. They went platinum, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like yeah, a lot of these rappers, bro. They don't go platinum, and like they be spending ten years making music, and they don't go platinum. And then I, I'm a platinum producer too. Bro. So Ooh. that that's that. I'm actually very happy you about that. You got more plaques than <laughs> me. I don't even got a plaque. What song is the platinum say. producer? Congrats, brother. Be- best, best on Earth. On Earth. With I helped produce Best on Earth with Russ and Bia. Let's fucking go. That Thank shit you, bro. Crazy, bro. I don't got a platinum. Double platinum. Good shit. I'm really out here. I could be a. I could be an artist. Yeah. Man, I could do anything. You could rap, box, do anything. Yeah, man. It's. It, I love. I love making music. Something about it is fun. I'm always gonna do. It. I'm probably gonna drop us make a song. For this Mike Tyson fight. See, I was about to ask about your re- recording process because we were talking about you making music. Oh, what, what's that like when, when you get in the studio? Are you are you writing? Are you sitting in there freestyling? What's, freestyling, what's... but now, like in the past week, I've been putting on headphones. I got a little app on my phone and I just record and just mix it on there. On your phone? Are on you my phone. Is it I swear to God. I can't see the app. Look. Damn. Yeah. Why, That's so wild. Now why so do the that? technology's like that yeah, good I now? Need that. I, I, I ain't gonna so lie. Like, Low key studios about to die out, gang. If you could record on your phone with headphones, think about that. Because because does AI like fix it a little bit too or no? no. It's a, it was always a quality thing for me. That's just why I never did it. Like band lab. Hey, was, you think we can make a song like right now? Yeah, we might. Yeah, have bro, we we could literally put on headphones. I got the app, and then we just record. And you have beats. Shit, I probably got some beats. Oh yeah, yes, yeah. it would low key be CD. funny if we just like made like a song in like ten minutes. Let's do it. That shit gotta be fire though. Wait, but why why on the iPhone? I know you obviously have access because, to all the bigger bro, studios. Like, I don't I don't put it to you like this. Like, if I go to a studio, right? Like I feel like I'm forced to be like I'm like forced to work like when you go in there. I feel you and I've when I've gone to studio in my limited fucking time, everyone just like staring at you. That's why I like, to, like I like to engineer myself. Yeah, no, I love the best. It was the best time songs I ever made was just in my own place, your own when, spot, right at the when house. When no one's like pressuring you with like less exactly. people around. And when exactly. you book time, bro, like it, it feels like you're on a like a like a time limit. I don't know. Like that's why I used to just do twelve hours, eight p eight a.m. to eight p.m. But you probably do that anyway because I know CB's got the at home setup. So you probably yeah, you bro, got your own at home setup. Night, How bro. often do you record now? Damn near every day. That's good. I'll do it on my phone. I'll do it in the studio. You ever fell out of love with music? Yes, when I was in L.A. Ah, uh, that's exactly what happened to me. For like two months, and then I'm like, I'm like depressed. See the the mix? Hey, we might have to load up a beat on this fucking app and make a song. Are you happier now, like thus far in your career, or back then, like during a... I'm happy right now, bro, because I got more peace of mind. And I know everything's going around around me. Like, back then, people were taking advantage of me. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, you have to go through the fire. What do you, what do you mean by that? Because we, we just had Aiden on the show, and we were talking about how he was young and naive in the industry, and there was a lot of people taking advantage of him. What what kind of shit was happening? I mean, just the regular industry shit. People taking money from you. You know, type of bullshit, man. Like, And now I you, mean, f- you feel like you got a team now that you could trust? Of course. You had to make a, time a to an account? The- <laughs> Hey, you yeah. probably actually did have to nah, make a an account. <laughs> the little accounts you got to deposit money into when you're like under 18. <laughs> no. 
Where did you do that? Bread, just, you I can't just get your bread. Because I had to make a Coogan account. You, you did, how old were you when you signed? Oh, wait. Nah, you did some crazy shit to get out yeah, your deal. Yeah, <laughs> He did some Should crazy shit to get out his deal. What he did was, he do? Wait, all right, guys. All right, look. I'm going to break it down to you. This is the first time I ever say this. <laughs> all right, look. So, I was 17. I had a boss, D Rose, Flex Like Ooh, and then Gucci Gang. Once Gucci Gang popped off, I already signed with them at first for like the 300 bands, whatever. Boom. And then after. Your papers are, are supposed to go through court. And if they don't go through court, um notary notary. Notary. So basically, I could renew my deal. And since I had Gucci getting out, I was like, you know what? I'm hopping out. So like once I hopped out of the deal, they looked dumb as hell. They were like, What the fuck? Like, you can't do this. You're like, don't here. I'll offer you 10, 10 M's. I'm like, oh yeah, I bet. Boom. So, like, I, like, basically hopped out the deal because the fucking paper didn't go to court. So then you got $10 million because of that? Yeah. Whoa. But then did they put those papers through court after that? Yeah, now, every rapper right now that's, like, 17 or anything, that paper's going straight through, like, within the same week. And you're the reason. Yeah, I'm the reason because of that. <laughs> I fucked it up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sorry. So you might have before you it was the Frank Ocean finesse was the biggest finesse in the industry, but you might have the you might have the the biggest finesse nah, in, the, in the music industry. Finesse for like twenty. That's crazy. Well, what did he do? Um, he put a, how, how did so basically, go? I think he had a certain amount of deliverables that he had to put out, and he had to put out like ten songs, whatever the number was, and he put out a, he put out an album with a bunch of like blank songs, basically. If if what I remember correctly, fuck? it was like it was like a just a production album. He's smoking the Cybertruck vape. <laughs> yeah, show, show the camera the Cybertruck vape. Cybertruck. Cybertruck. <laughs> I want, I want I a Cybertruck, bro. Right. I, I was just with Kimball Musk at his uh, book launch party in, in L.A., and I was, like, telling him, bro, because I've been waiting for my semi, too. You're still getting that shit? Yeah, bro. I pre-ordered the semi, like, five years ago. What, the truck? I still haven't got the semi. Semi the Tesla semi, because I wanted to get it all black. The small one or the, the no, big like ass, big one. ass, like big highway semi truck, truck. CDL oh, truck driver. And I have an allocation, and bro, now I, I could sell that shit for a lot of money, but I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just gonna get an all black sem Tesla Where you semi. Park that bitch. I'm just gonna. I don't know. <laughs> park it here. I'll park it here. It better. That's crazy. And we just imagine you just pull up to the club in a semi, but it's and a Tesla that's semi. Hard. But I, I gotta. Cyber truck too, but I don't know when that shit's coming. Get that bitch and just pack it out with like fucking fifty Ooh, hoes. I guess I, sidebar, bro. I have your first boxing event. I just figured it all out. Oh my god, right. got to beat up Derek, bro. Somebody got to do it. Oh my god, Derek, Derek versus bro. Lope. I just beat Derek in a one on one right I know, now. But like, you got to punch yeah, him. Yeah, but up, you bro. could punch the fuck out of him. Should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd yeah. be funny. Want me go down there? Yeah. yeah, please. Yo, Jake, did you hear? Some of our competition is trying to match us, and they're launching three hundred x multipliers. I had a feeling this would happen. I think it's about time we put our nuts on the table, baby, and launch 1,000 times multipliers. Not 400, not 500, 1,000 x multipliers. 1,000x your money, baby. Download better and play better picks, prize picks. You could never better the number one fantasy sports app. Download it today. This is nuts. Let's go! Let's go down there. You punch me once in the stomach, hard as fuck. All right, and then and then. Now you know, I think oh, you I should, should do, do that after. after cause, <laughs> yeah. cause you said yeah. like you about to just lock back in, like. <laughs> not straight. I'll the body shot only hurts for like 15, 20 seconds. That's not yeah, true, don't brother. Take air out of me. But also the uh, body shots don't hurt that much, like when you know it's coming. Bro, we got we got into a little fight one time like four months ago, bro. We're in the back room of the house, and he's open-handed hitting me, bro. And it was, he sprained my finger because I tried to dodge it. Sprained my shit. Bare knuckle? And knotted me up open no, hand, he, bro. No, he was acting wild, so we got into a little scuffle. And I ain't about to turn down the fade, so I kind of stood up and I was like, wait, this <laughs> about to smoke me, but I, I can't let him know he's about to smoke me. So I swung and bro just started smacking me up. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's way too hard. The next time I'm doing the stepdad method, me, I'm backing that big shit out. Yeah, he's gonna pull the little pump <laughs> yeah. out. Where did, the, where did the name Lil Pump come from? Um, so I was smoking in the back of the car with Perp, and then um, we was coming up with little names, little this, little that, little um, little dog, little cat, whatever. 
And then Lil Pump came up, and I'm like, damn, it sounds like a good name. That's the one. Like, Lil Pump. Ooh. <laughs> Skitty. Skitty. <laughs> Do you feel like, like, like niggas don't give you your flowers enough? Because I ain't going to lie, bro. Of course. Bro, like, I was even searching up Lil Pump type beats. Fucking 15 years old trying yeah, to get it right. I mean, people won't give my credits now, but. They I never will, like, bro. That's the I world. feel like when the years keep on passing by, people are going to be like, all right. Because you, you had just as much of an effect. Uh, effect as like a Chief Keef, bro. Like you were. Brother. Exactly, bro. Like I was I was doing Taylor Swift numbers, bro. Like Yeah. Mm. Doing Miranda Cosgrove numbers. No, nah, for real, bro. Like I was in there fucking dropping a billion views, 800, um, 800 mil, 700 mil, like 500, like. Not a lot of rappers could do that. They might come out with a song like now and just this, that shit would have like fifty to hundred mil. He he was yeah, just people. talking about Miranda Cosgrove. Did that did that yeah. link up oh, ever yeah, happen? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Miranda Cosgrove, where you at, baby? I want to take it to the Disney link up still ain't happen. Nah, man, because um I was talking to Drake Bell and she and um he told me that she's kind of scared of me. But <laughs> listen, don't worry, baby. He's a nice guy. I'm gonna take care of you. We're gonna go to Disney World. We're gonna eat some fried chicken, whatever you want, baby. <laughs> I just <laughs> think, hey, that's what she wants. <laughs> the, 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 I just think you guys are like kind of polar opposites because, like, she's like, oh, I, I swear a little, but I, probably. Uh, well, what is your favorite word? But I'm such a fuck. track. <laughs> and he probably like, gonna fuck. Like, <laughs> bro, I want to make him a wife, bro. Like, fuck. All right, if you had one day with her, where are you taking her? What you doing? What's your execution plan? Right here, tell her, tell uh, her what it is. I'm gonna take her to Chrome Hearts. We're gonna spend like a 50 ball. 50 ball. Then I'm gonna take her on a jet. And then we're flying to Bali. And then after that, probably fly to Puerto Rico and then go to Colombia. Sure. And then we'll probably get married there. And after that, we'll go to La Isla. All in one day. Yeah. Extravaganza. Shit sound like, like a that movie. might take a couple of the days. See, you, sleep, yeah. you sleeping on my on my pump, Miranda. Like you, you're not realizing what's going on. We got a picnic in my backyard. Like. <laughs> that might be more her pace. That, that might be more her pace. Her yeah, we can have yeah, a she seems like a picnic a little fast, type girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take this back. We can have a picnic, like, on go. a yeah. regular day, you know? Yeah. And, and you'll make, you'll even, like, you'll arrange and get all the I'll, food and I everything. I will arrange everything. I'll get all the food. I'll put the little um, blankets on the floor. I'll do everything. Are you a romantic guy? Yeah, I am. We, we got to talk uh, Double XL Freshman, because you were, you were 2018, right? Yes, sir. What do you think is the most iconic Double XL year? That's, that's what the public thinks. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 2016, I'll say, to be honest. Okay. And then after that, mine. How do you think your class did now? It's been some years now. How do you think your class panned out to be? Shit. I don't know, man. I'm still the only one here. You heard of uh, Soul Train by uh, YB and Amir? Hard. That shit is that <laughs> <laughs> crazy. That's best song of, of the year, to be honest. Y'all heard that? Mm -mm. Oh, Soul man. Soul Train. If I gave you all my love. <laughs> Should we play? Yeah, play that, play that. Play All right, that, play that. It, it's like a, some new shit from him. Yeah, it's, it's no, a real movie, this. bro. Like, no, this shit's gonna hit you in the heart, bro. I can't <laughs> tell if you guys are. Nah, we're dead ass. Dead ass, dead ass. Do I look like I'm kidding? Yeah, you do. With this straight face, you 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 sound like you're kidding. No, nah. I know anything about bro, you. Bro, he wouldn't lie. Yo, Jake, man, I'm trying to train with you, cuz. Bro, let's fucking do it, bro. We're. Oh, we. Your nickname could be like little. Like little, like you, like something with a shotgun. Like you're about to kill something. One like pump, pump shotgun. Good. Fucking one, one, one pump. pump. That's good. One mm -hmm. pump. Little one pump. One pump. I ain't gonna lie, he just gave you my credit for sure. But <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So why you got your ringer on? You old? <laughs> what? Bro, Bro has his ringer on. Oh, the alarm. The, the, the ringer shit. Oh, I don't know. Bro, I fell asleep like at fucking five or six yesterday. And then I knew how to interview today, so I'm like, Bro, I'm going to wake up early. I woke up like at 10, blue. hit the gym, came back. Got yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You put the song. flash on. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm acting federal and shit, bro. You got ad, You don't got YouTube ready? Nah, I don't. Bro, lock in. Bro, no one has YouTube ready. No one has YouTube, YouTube red because I've literally bullied all of you into That's getting it. That's not true. It. I've had... Ooh. If I gave you my love... Would it make me happy? <laughs> nah, put it in the mic, put it in the mic, put it in the mic, put it in the mic. Oh, my love. <laughs> Would it make you happy? Every time I'm with you, girl. 
You guys can't see, but everybody's got their lighters up in the background going like this with their lighters. That what? shit touched my heart. What happened in 2018, bro? I don't know. Ricky. I'm still here and I'm still alive. So, did, so why did he do that? Bro. <laughs> It just Fuck. felt like like what he should have did, bro. He thought he was in his bag that day. Like, <laughs> I'm really starting to think I was a way better rapper than the people ever gave me credit. You had for. a crazy run, bro. Yeah, people give you the credit. Park though. South Freestyle. Speaking of speaking of crazy runs, yeah. who are your top three like new newer artists right now? Ken, Ken, Ken. Yeah, no. Oh, Ken Carson. Ken Carson. Um, real. I was just. That's that lyrics I was saying. Mm-hmm. Um, Pretty real. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, some Spanish been named Ryan Castro. Okay. Is there is there any music that you listen to that people wouldn't think you listen to? Like, do you listen to country music sometimes or anything that people wouldn't expect? Country music, like all type of shit. Like, I have a I have a weird genre on my um, Apple thing. Yeah, I listen to all types. of Weird ass shit. I listen to a lot of rock. Too. I should have go from rock, rock to class, old, mm. older Dirk rock to Morgan Wallen to Old Dominion. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hey look, hey look, this is some real shit right here. Jake, hop in. To a girl, I played in front of them. <laughs> so monogamy is out the window. What? Like, like having one woman in your life, like getting married and shit. So of course. How long you been in a relationship for? Well, this one is a year. Wow, Damn. a year. That's crazy. Is this the one you, you see yourself getting married, having kids? Are you are you public about it? Like, do you be posting or shit? Not really, because sometimes, like, let's say if I. If I post too much, people gonna be DMing her doing this, that, like. Yeah, I wouldn't post my bitch if she went missing. I, I like. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Private life, happy life, bro. Fuck all the yes, noise. Yes, I'm not yes. posting my bitch for nothing in the world, bro. If she go missing, I go find her. <laughs> nope. For what? Nope. Not happening. I don't I'm, know how you do it. Crazy. I'm coming up on a year. I just like, bro. I I just like have always naturally shared my life with the world. Like that's what I do is tell my own story. So it's like a, it's just like a part of who I am, honestly. And Yuta likes it too. Like she's literally the same way. That's one thing that we clicked on right in the beginning was like she just loves storytelling. Actually, she's actually a great content creator, which is which is like what surprised me about her. Like she knows the. Shots, angles, TikToks, Bro, trends, all that shit. Flying, but flying. that's not her thing. Like, don't get it oh, twisted. Exactly. She is a full heart athlete. Wait, that's, no, but that's what, what, what she is. Crazy. Can't like, just skip up gymnastics. What? Like, like, like full time athletes like gymnastics. She does a speed skating. Oh shit! Yeah, she's she's an Olympic speed skater. Put some respect on her name. She's an Olympic world speed shit. skater. Yeah, she, world titles. She has world records and all types of shit like that. That's lit. But yeah, we're coming up on a year as she well. You should teach Pump how to speed yeah. skate. Bro, I don't even know how to snowboard. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Are you like athletic? A little bit, yeah. I think we should make a song and beat up Derek. That's Let's a good it. idea. And then it should just cut to that right now. Ready? No! Oh! I told you I have to do it. <laughs> 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 